for joining me in the man cave. So today we're going to talk about this desk that I designed and built. So this desk, I needed a desk that was an L shape, which was going to give you give me enough room for my iMac and my 49 inch Samsung monitor. I needed room for the brother printer and the gaming machine itself. So, for the most part, I use the iMac for everyday stuff, emails, homework, whatever needs to be done, or you know, watching TV. I can have two things going on, and I can switch this one to the T-Bone. Uh, over here, you can see we're starting up GTA. Um, so we got the uh, gaming rig because I like to play games. It's nice. We have the gaming rig itself, and there's a lot of things. It's a four get a uh, six core processor. Uh, it's topped out in RAM with 16 gigs. Uh, it's been on been at this desk now for six to eight years. Uh, the only thing I had to do with this computer was uh, change the graphics card the graphics card blue and the fan control at one point blue too. Uh, this is a new fan control. It's actually much nicer than the old one, but a nice. So I'm going to give you a little tutorial of like how I came about building this desk. The desk is from Ikea, believe it or not. This is actually real wood. This is the only wood that Ikea actually makes that's real. So this is actually a countertop, which is a uh, butcher block. So what I ended up happening was when I went there to get these, the, and they actually had a sale, which was actually really nice. Now they come not finished, so you're going to have to finish them. Um, it was pretty simple, a couple coats of polyurethane. And it's really nice. Uh, I, I sanded it slightly. It, it came sanded, uh, but in some areas just needed a little bit more. Other than that, they were fine. So these two pieces are countertops. And then underneath, we have drawers on both sides. And we have the poles that support this corner part. So I got this idea of looking around on the internet and stuff, and I saw that people were taking this smaller size counter and putting it between two drawers and making themselves like this. So I was like, okay, well, I can do better than that. I think if I get the longer part of the, de of the countertops and the shorter part, I can make an L-Desk. So here I go, I made the L-Desk. It came out really well, I'm very happy with it. Um, for the most part, I use this, this desk every single day. There's not a day that I'm not sitting at this desk. If I'm not working on um, editing video, or doing other things with the iMac, or playing video games, it's one of those things that I really enjoy playing video games and also having the versatility of just having a computer that I use every day that integrates with all my other stuff that works really well. I'm not really a fan of a PC anymore, but I play PC games so I have to have PC. Let's bring you closer and I'll show you the underside of the desk and how uh, I put it together. So here are the drawers and there's the desk going across. We got the legs coming down, there's four of them. Uh, I got the shredder and my file cabinet underneath. And there's the other side. So for the most part, everything is hidden for the most part underneath the desk. As you can see, all the wires. So this is for the iMac. And I made drilled holes through the desk, which were really, really hard. Um, using even 
electric bit so that these wires that come off of the off of the monitor just go straight down through the desk. So I was trying to keep this desk as clean as possible with the wires. I'm underneath the desk and obviously you're gonna see wires underneath the desk. There's no like getting away with that. I even have my um, 24 port um, network splitter here which runs throughout the rest of the house at least at the top floor and here's the rest there we go these drawers are actually really nice they they they're pretty nice for ikea i have to say simple attachments uh if you can see back there that little gold piece that is how i connected and it's not coming out clear there we go that piece was just an L bracket. It actually came with the countertop, which was nice because I was able to put it together. So this iMac, we're gonna start here. We got the Bose rounds. We got Bose surround sounds. Uh, it's the computer version. It's two speakers and a subwoofer. Not really surround sound, but it sounds pretty darn good. But <clears throat> this computer is really nice. I can have email, working on something, or watching TV, Hulu, or whatever else on this other screen with the TiVo as well. Uh, it's a nice setup. This computer is spec'd out. You cannot just walk into Apple and buy this computer. Let's look at the specs. Alright, so we're looking at the specs of the iMac. The iMac is a 5K resolution, 27 inch, it's 2015, it's a 4 GHz processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and it's an AMD Radeon R9 2 gig graphics card here's the Bose setup you got on off you got volume you got this one speaker here and moving over over here there's the other speaker with the surround sound down I mean the subwoofer down below Now we're going to start with the gaming rig. So, as you can see here is the fan controls. It's actually pretty new. Uh, I just put it in last week. It gives you the readout of the fan speed, temperatures of what it's monitoring, so CPU, uh, RAM, all those things that are important when you're gaming. See the temperature on them. Moving over to the 49 inch gaming monitor from Samsung Curved. It's a beautiful monitor. It is really nice. As you can see here, we're playing GTA. The graphics are really nice and superb. They're really, really crisp. I had other three monitors here in place of this, and this monitor is the best monitor I ever owned. Now, I do have a nice keyboard. I like how it lights up red. The mouse and the very big mouse pad, which is very important in gaming. I also have the brother printer. My cameras are up here. So just a super, super, super desk. So we're on the back of the desk. When you walk into the room, this is what you see. For the most part, 
wires are pretty much invisible for the most part. You got wires where I can, where you have to see them, like on the back here and going down underneath. But these come in handy. I have another one over here for the subwoofer. How's all those wires? Something that people don't realize when they walk in, they think this is actually part of the desk. This is not. This is actually a track kind of system that, like these wires, see they go up and then go in here and there's a, a lip here and they all sit in here. It's actually really nice. And it goes the whole length of the desk here so it brings all of the power and all the stuff over and give you a better angle of how wire management is done down here. So let's go up, back up. We'll check out the computer. See how it looks inside. Pretty cool. So now there's another thing back here for wire management. This hides the wires. All the wires go in it and and it's like a felt material and has um, Velcro on one side and the wires are contained and really don't see them much for that much. So underneath the desk here we have this nice hanging hook for my XP40 headset. It's a Turtle Beach headset with Beats headset. We also have which every gaming system or computer system should have is a APC backup so that you can back up your power. Let's see if this focuses in. We got the load. I got both computers running at 40%. So that's 40% load on here. Uh, batteries that are at 100, which is very good. So with power outages, I was able to run the iMac for about 45 minutes. I was able to run the gaming machine for about a half an hour or less. I was able to run like one of the monitors and have the TiVo playing and that one lasted for an hour and like 10 minutes which is really good so it's important to have one you can have one just like this they come all shapes and sizes this one has four batteries in it up above we have the brother printer sitting on the desk right next to the nice curved monitor. Another important thing I forgot almost to review is this great chair. This chair is like 500 bucks or 600 bucks. Uh, this is the name of the chair. I got it on sale for like 300 bucks on a Black Friday. And this chair is really nice. Besides going up and down, it adjusts back and forth. Uh, the arms you can take off or move forward and back or up and down. Uh, the wheels roll very freely. They are, it's a really nice chair. I have to tell you, out of all my chairs that I've ever had, this is the best one and it also has lasted very long. I had other like leather chairs like this that were just literally fall apart. Like I would, like the armrests would come apart, the where it would sit, it just was horrible. But these, this is really nice. It also comes with the lumbar support, uh, which is really nice, and you can move that up and down or take it off. Same thing with the pillow. The pillow is actually a nice touch. Um, you can take some of the fluff out if it's too hard for you, or you can just leave it the way it is from the factory, but I have to tell you, all around this chair is very, very nice. And that's for the chair. Another nice thing that we have on my desk is this phone stand, which is also really nice. This is the name of it. 
You can get it on Amazon. I don't believe I did get this one on Amazon. Um, it's really nice when you're making phone calls. You can have it right up. You, you can see your text messages come in. Um, Thank you for joining me in the man cave. So today we're going to talk about this desk that I designed and built. So this desk, I needed a desk that was an L shape, which was for joining me in the man cave. So today we're going to talk about this desk that I designed and built. So this desk, I needed a desk that was an L shape, which was going to give you give me enough room for my iMac and my 49 inch Samsung monitor. I needed room for the brother printer and the gaming machine itself. So. For the most part, I use the iMac for everyday stuff, emails, homework, whatever needs to be done, or you know, watching TV. I can have two things going on, and I can switch this one to the TiVo. Uh, over here, you can see we're starting up GTA. Um, so we got the, the gaming rig because I like to play games. It's nice. We have the gaming rig itself, and there's a lot of things. It's a four get a uh, six core processor. Uh, it's topped out in RAM with 16 gigs. Uh, it's been on been at this desk now for six to eight years. Thank you for joining me in the man cave. So today we're going to talk about this desk that I designed and built. So this desk. I needed a desk that was an L shape, which was going to give you give me enough room for my iMac and my 49-inch Samsung monitor. I needed room for the brother printer and the gaming machine itself. So, for the most part, I use the iMac for everyday stuff, emails, homework, whatever needs to be done, or you know, watching TV, I can have two things going on, and I can switch this one to the TiVo. Uh, over here, you can see we're starting up GTA. Um, so we got the, the gaming rig, because I like to play games. It's nice. We have the gaming rig itself, and there's a lot of things. It's a 4 get. Uh,